A serious shortage of chemotherapy drugs is forcing the FDA to get help from other countries. This weekend, the FDA confirmed it was working with China and Canada to help relieve this shortage. And while locally, May's Cancer Center patients have not been affected yet, Courtney Freeman reports doctors there already preparing protocols if the shortage continues. There are currently 11 chemotherapy drugs with shortages in the U.S. The main one, cisplatin, is used for over 10 types of cancer. We use it in gynecologic malignancies. We use it in thoracic malignancies and uh, genital urinary malignancies. Um, it, it's very common. Dr. Mark Bonin with UT Health San Antonio's Mays Cancer Center confirms the general shortages are caused by labor and supply chain issues and mainly the lack of suppliers since companies aren't making money off the cheaper generic drugs. Cisplatin is the, the drug that we've been most worried about in the recent month or so. That's because in March, the lab in India that makes 50% of the U.S. supply was shut down for quality assurance failures. We had been very lucky. Uh, our supplier had continued to supply us pretty regularly until last week. And last week, uh, they initiated a new way of ordering the drug, which actually required us to order it for a specific patient with a specific diagnosis. The Mays Cancer Center can no longer order the drug in bulk like it used to, but patients have not been affected yet, unlike many other centers nationwide. How often is it that there is an alternative for cisplatin for your patients? So the, the two areas where there really is no alternative right now is in bladder and testicular cancer. Other centers across the country have already resorted to short-term fixes. There's uh, rounding down, so they're rounding the dose downward to preserve the supply, uh, not have to open an additional vial. Some are extending time between doses. Hopefully in the next few days, uh, we won't uh, have to resort to that. The FDA says a Chinese company will send cisplatin to the U.S. and a Canadian pharmaceutical company will distribute it. Doctors should be able to start ordering tomorrow. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. Now, Dr. Bonin agrees with doctors across the country that the long-term solution is creating legislation that incentivizes or pushes more drug companies to produce and supply these generic cancer drugs. So there's no global reliance on just one or two suppliers. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.